Our final step in building the compensation plan is step seven, communicate the plan. Communicating the plan ensures employees understand their compensation and have a clear line of sight between organizational mission, culture, and their compensation. The third and final functional area of building the compensation system is compensation management. Compensation management refers to the activities of making your compensation plan work by addressing individual contributions and providing clear communication to employees. Step 7, Communicate the Plan, is our final step in building the compensation plan. Communication is essential to engage employees in their total rewards package. In this step, we ensure employees understand their compensation and have a clear line of sight between organizational mission, culture, and their compensation. Employers spend significant money each year on total rewards. Yet, when employees are unaware of the programs, employers fail to realize the full return on that investment. The underlying objective of a total rewards program is to drive workforce behavior and achieve organizational success. This means employees must know what is expected of them and understand how their behavior expects the rewards they earn. Studies show employees who understand that their employer's total rewards program are more likely to be engaged in the workforce and to work towards common goals. This only can be achieved through a strategic communication approach. Why do most organizations do a poor job communicating their rewards programs? According to research, only 35% of employees understand how their organization's reward programs work. Employees need to understand and be engaged with their compensation. So why aren't more total rewards professionals putting their money where their mouth is? This should be a no-brainer to communicate the objectives of our rewards program, the value of the investment in people, and the details of the program. After all, rewards are often an organization's largest controllable expense. Previous research shows that some organizations get it right, but the majority reward communications fall short. Research also shows a relationship between reward communication effectiveness and employee engagement and business results. Experts have found that a positive correlation between the amount of knowledge employees have about their rewards program and their satisfaction with their job and organization. Studies conducted through industry leaders found that the most effective organizations provide reward information more frequently and go into greater depth than other organizations. These studies found that high-performing organizations do a much better job than their representative peer group in communicating the purpose and intent of total rewards to employees, frequently communicating the value of total rewards, engaging line managers more directly in reward communication processes, and evaluating the success of reward programs. There are several innate challenges to communicating compensation programs. Not surprisingly, the lowest level of employee satisfaction revolves around understanding pay systems. Most importantly, compensation is an emotional issue. Employees' sense of self-esteem may be attached to pay, including merit increases and incentive plans. Because the value of compensation may be affected by employees' perception of their own self-worth, employers should provide employees with comfort that their pay is based on the value of their job, not the value of individuals. Also, total rewards professionals should be particularly sensitive to how pay changes are communicated. Knowledge or perception of pay in the marketplace also may affect employees' spheres of influence. Employees often will search for data to fill the void when little or no information is provided regarding pay. Unfortunately, their findings may be inaccurate or incomplete. Employer communication has an enormous influence on employee knowledge about pay systems and employee feelings about those systems. Depending on an organization's total reward and compensation philosophy, it may choose to develop communication campaigns for base pay, variable pay, and performance management programs. Explaining compensation to an employee should be simple. The reason compensation plans are often difficult to define is because there's so many factors going in to those plans. The world of compensation has unique definitions, designs, and functions. How do you make them easy for non-HR savvy employees to understand? The following are a few ideas on how you can communicate your compensation plan with employees. First, explain the structure. Then, explain the differences. And finally, provide a reward statement. Let's take a look at each. First, we need to explain our pay structure. 
many organizations use compensation plans that are based upon pay grades and ranges. Organizations usually design these by looking at the positions in their company and identifying basic factors such as education, tasks involved, skills, and abilities required. Then, positions are slotted into pay grades along with other jobs in similar scope and responsibility. Developing a pay range makes the compensation more clear because it delineates to the worker what compensation will be and what their potential for growth is. But this type of transparency works well because employees immediately know from the start what their pay is and what their potential might be. Explaining this structure is critically important. Next, we need to explain reasons for pay differences. Employees can be motivated by knowing there's a lot of room for their pay to grow. Wage differentials are those differences in wages between various workers, groups, or differences between workers and career fields. It's important to identify and document when a wage differential is appropriate, so as to prevent both confusion and a sense of inequity in your compensation plan. A recommendation would be is if there's a group of workers who have speci specialities in your workplace, such as workers who know a specific programming language that your company relies on, it would be helpful to identify and support your pay practices to them using job titles and clear communication with the group. Finally, provide a total reward statement. How well do your employees understand their total compensation, the amount of money you invest in them, outside the base salary? To communicate total compensation to employees, some organizations use what are sometimes referred to as the total reward statement. A total reward statement provides a detailed overview of the investment to attract, retain, support, motivate, and engage employees in the workforce. There's nothing complicated about it. These statements just require some research and some design and development to make sure total rewards information is clearly communicated. As you consider total reward statement, here's a suggestion. Simply Google total reward statement and look at some of the visual examples of what other organizations provide. Of all the suggestions I've made here to clearly communicate your compensation plan to your employees, the total reward statement is perhaps the most straightforward. Beyond preparing a statement, remember the following tips for communication. Refine compensation plans for your positions that account for education, skills, tasks, and responsibilities in such a way that they make clear sense to an outside observer. Explain benefits packages in a manner that reminds employees they're not intrinsic to the position itself. Make compensation predictable through the use of either an established pay grade or pay for performance approach. Employees can gain an understanding of their base pay and what goes into it. Be available as an HR professional to explain compensation plans to employees. This not only includes increases or base pay, but also provides resourcing, professional expertise, and information about how your compensation plan works. Now, Use this critical information to manage communication of your compensation plan well.